Hey guys, it's me. Um, quick, quick update. Um, my story, I just updated it. I've been having really bad writer's block lately, and I'm gonna go, <clears throat> pause. Not pause. Boink. Turn off my TV. Anyways, so I haven't been, I've had really bad writer's block, block lately. God damn it. Anyways, and so if you want to read the new chapter to my book, the link is in the description. And, well, today, I'm going to be telling you my top three scariest events while having a dream. Because I didn't know what else to do today. Okay, first dream. So, basically, I was, um, about, I don't know. I don't know which ones I should do. I already haven't picked out. So, basically, this one when I was, um, I was, like, I don't know, five or six, nine, <laughs> Five through nine, okay? We'll call it that age range. So basically what happens was, you know the sand bar? If you live in Moses Lake, you'll probably know it. That was my dad's old bar, okay, until he sold it. So basically, I was in my house, right? And I got sent all the way over there in my dream. I'm like, oh, I have to walk home. So do, 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 I'm walking home, right? And the floor starts collapsing underneath me. And I'm looking down like, the fuck, boy? And there's like that lake in the railroad, right? That's like, okay, so I'm right here. It's down here. Like, okay, I'm just like, I'm gonna die. Anyways, I continue on. And it feels like forever. Okay. Okay, so there's this part of my house where it goes like this down the road. Like, eh. not sure how to describe that. Anyways, and so that turned into a graveyard, and I'm not even sure why. Okay. And you're think you're probably thinking to yourself, Saya, how is this even scary? Let me continue. So basically, at this point, I have the feeling that someone is watching me. Okay, so I turn around like, anybody behind me? No, I continue walking. Okay, so I'm next to the, the river, right? And I'm going and I'm going. I turn around again, and this time I see something. This black figure with red eyes. And I'm like, mm, boy, get the fuck out. And I'm thinking to myself like, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, and I continue walking, and then finally, I run down the street, and my street's only like a five minute, not five minute, two minute run, okay? So, from point A to point B, two minutes. It took me about three hours to get there. Explain this. Logic. <clears throat> Brain logic. Anyways, so I'm there, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm finally home, I'm finally here, because at this point, when I was younger, I didn't know how to get to my house from all locations, which now I do because I pay attention. Don't mind my knuckle pop popping problem. I have issues. <laughs> Anyways, and so as I'm going down, I open the door and the demon's in my house because it's all pitch black. And I'm like, no, okay. At this point, I was literally asleep, but I was awake, but I couldn't move my body. And this, I'm looking at this demon thing. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to kill me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, so just imagine I'm nine. I have this demon thing on top of me, and I'm like, I'm going to die. Until finally I wake up, and it's literally, this thing is on top of me. I look up, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> you know that moment in your life where you think to yourself, and you're like, hmm. Well, I wonder if something bad's going to happen. And it does, and then you're in this horrible situation, and you're like, oh shit. I fucked up. <laughs> okay, that's what I was thinking. And I'm sitting here like, I'm going to fuck you not. Until finally, I tried to scream and nothing came out of my vocal cords. Like, I was so scared. That literally no noise was coming out of my voice. <clears throat> okay. And it finally went away. And my dad walked in. He's like, honey, you okay? I thought I heard something. Yeah, there was just some creepy thing on top of me. My dad gave me the strangest look like. What? And I'm over here like. What? Okay. And, yeah, that's story number one. <laughs> creepy, right? <clears throat> story number two. <sighs> Warning, creepy pastas involved. So, basically, I'm in this RV. You know those trailer park things? Where, like, they're kind of like a box. And they don't really move. They're like an RV, but not an RV. It's like an RV in the ground without wheels. Anyways, I was in one of those, right? And this little boy with bright blonde hair... <clears throat> Ben, um, he had this green sweatshirt on, some green pants, and this, he was so cute, he had blue eyes, and he's like, oh, hey, he's, he looked like a little gamer, 
he was all into don't get cringed don't don't cringe please <clears throat> he was into Majora's Mask and I didn't really know what creepy pastas were at this time in fact I barely knew what was on the tip of the iceberg <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself I'm like you look familiar <laughs> and I'm like nah and he's like I'm your little brother what this is when I had blonde hair if you've seen my previous previous videos I had blonde hair okay and I didn't post as often anyways it's all purple now anyways so basically we were brother and sister and we started hanging out the one and then out of nowhere some bald dude in the legend of Korra came in and said mm -mm, girl you're not allowed to be in here and we're just like what why we're just hanging out and they're like girl and we're looking at them like what the fuck like, mm -hmm. okay they gave us the death stare and then basically we're like fuck it fine okay so we exit this little building and we're like let's go on a walk okay and so this walk is like i don't know five minutes and it's apparently everything's dusty and dirty and just <laughs> dystopia and you walk back into this backyard and you're like oh, it's a magical universe okay so it's like a beautiful garden with lots of trees oh yeah i forgot to mention at the very beginning i looked up and like game letters you know like find the murderer i'm just like what okay anyways back to the main part so we're walking through like do 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 and then we finally reach the end of this garden and we're like oh that was fun the little boy looks up at me, and he's like, Sissy, I'm scared. I'm like, oh, you're so cute. Okay. And he hugs me, and I'm like, oh. So just imagine this cute little boy is like, please help me, I'm scared. I actually didn't realize this till now, but basically this garden, at the very end, when he hugged me, it started flooding. Okay. <clears throat> I looked up, right, as I'm hugging this, and it started flooding, and I just realized it started flooding right now like literally i looked up and said you found the murderer i'm like what what the, who's the murderer i wasn't even i forgot about the objective right i looked down and it turns out this little boy that was once adorable turned into jeff he turned into jeff the killer okay he's looking at me like hey, with a little knife and everything he's like hi oh, go to sleep i'm like what the fuck okay and i wake up in a thing of terror okay and i look around my room okay not to mention I fell asleep differently tonight, so I, it was a different room, by the way. So let's say my head usually sleeps here, right? My head was on that side, looking towards everything. But in my old room, my head was oh, like looking towards the wall, not towards the rest of my room, like I usually do. Okay, and basically I wake up in fucking terror because you want to know exactly what I saw? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna tell you anyways. I saw fucking Jeff the Killer in my room. <clears throat> oh, Saya, that's not true. You're just seeing things because you're pairing. No, I fucking saw him. He literally was on top of me. And he's like, oh, shit, she's awake. He jumped off me, okay? <sighs> he jumped off me, ran to the door, and freaking shut it gently. Like, I was asleep, and I'm looking like, what just happened? I didn't even know if my eyes were deceiving me. Okay, so I basically fall back asleep, paranoid as hell. I wake up the next morning like, that was probably just a dream, and I told my dad about it, and he's like, mm, girl, you're just like, you're just paranoid. You need to stop reading creepy stuff. <clears throat> I never will. So, basically, I examined my room after I ate breakfast, you know, chilled out, and guess what I saw? My window was open. Literally, my window was open. And there were footprints. And I looked, and the door was unlocked. I don't know if this was just my dad. Maybe it was too hot in there, and it was just my dad. But who in the hell would get on top of you and be like, Hey, I'm right here. Look at me. And you're just like, what the fuck? Go on. Okay? <sighs> okay, I'm actually going to tell four stories. Hey. One's, the last one's just a bonus. It's not an actual dream of what happened okay so basically last actual dream story so basically this happened when i was like six and i lived with my mom at the time and we were in montana and i was sleeping on the couch because i lived in an attic to drop my legs <laughs> okay so 
basically, I lived in an attic, and I was sleeping in the living room because we had this giant flat-screen TV. Okay, and I'm laying there like, mmm, watching The Lion King, and I, the TV shut off after the movie was done, and I was too scared to get up. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna fall asleep, I'm just gonna fall asleep, mm. so I fell asleep, right? And there's this Eskimo lady with this polar bear, and they're like, okay, we're gonna give you three wishes. What's your first wish? Okay, I'm like, mmm, I get three wishes. Oh, yeah, you have to make them by midnight. Okay, so I'm just like, do 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 do. I'm gonna wish for a pony, and I'm gonna wish for some new shoes. Okay, and I'm like, what should I get for the third wish? Stupid me. You should have just said something. No, I have to go along and be like, mmm, to the last minute. The bell, it's like a grandfather clock, and it's like, ding ding ding. And the people are like, oh no, you're too late. And I was like, wait, no, I want deodorant or something. You know, that's the first thing I saw over there. <laughs> No, so these little devil dudes are like, we're going to take you off. Okay, so they're marching off with me, and I'm like, mm, please help me. She's like, bye. And the polar bear's like, and I was like, Ugh. and we're like, <laughs> okay. So, like, choose your fate. You can either go into the devil's lair, okay, or you can go into this laundry room. Is that even a question? Why would I want to go into Satan's lair? Why would I want to go into hell? Of course I choose the laundry room. I go in there and like, bye, this is going to be fine. You're staying in there for all eternity. Bye. Okay. So I'm in there and I close the door. I'm like, oh, shit. It's all filled with laundry. Like, okay, so just imagine me here and the laundry's like this. It's just crazy. And this, there's this little, like, there's just one little clearing. Like, think where this little albino bunny's looking at me like, I'm a bunny, love me. Like, oh, it's a little bunny. No, it fucking turned into a wolf. <sighs> so this wolf is like, I'm gonna eat you. And I'm like, no, you're not. And it's like, ah, I'm gonna eat you. No, you're not. Okay, so we're running around the walls, right? So basically, just imagine anti-gravity. Flip, we're on the walls now. And so basically, we're running for like, I don't know, about 30 minutes. And then this bear, it turned into a polar bear with this little head on, okay, and it's like, I'm gonna eat you, and I'm like, Ugh. it finally catches me, and then, like, the floor drops, and the ceiling goes away, and we're in this lava world, and I'm like, I'm gonna die, okay, it's, see, eat, you can, okay, this is the trippiest part, you, after it ate me, you could see my body disintegrating in this polar bear stomach, and you could see the acid eating away at my flesh, and I'm like, mm, 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 hmm. Okay, so I'm all, and then I finally wake up, and I'm like, mm. okay, I'm sitting there for like an hour. Okay, that's the end of the story. <laughs> Bonus story. Okay, so this is really quick. I lived, well, I had another room in my house that I was in at the time. And basically what happened was that I was getting changed, do-do-do, changing, watching TV, having a good time. It was my bedtime, right? It was a school night. Not school night. It was the weekend, okay? So I'm just like, do 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 And I swear to God, I swear on my grandmother's grave, and she is dead. I swear on Jesus' grave that I opened that door. And okay, so basically, this is my room, right? My room, okay? And when you do this, there's this hallway. There's a bathroom and a kitchen and a living room. Because we live in a duplex, right? So there's this room right here. After you go into here, there's a room, hallway, bathroom. I walk into the hallway because I'm like, I need to go take a waz before I go to sleep. I go in there and Slender Man is just standing there like, yo, what up? And I'm just like, how'd you get here? I thought you were fake. Okay, basically, in that instant, I saw him. I'm like, lights out. Okay, so basically, it went, I blacked out for like a second. The next morning, I woke up in my bed. Okay, and I didn't even know. I'm just like, I had to go pee. I had to go pee. I woke up in my bed, and my pants were covered in blood. I'm like, what <laughs> in the name of God? Okay, so my pants are covered in blood, and my shirt is covered in blood, and my sheets are thrown off my bed, and my room is a mess, okay? And there's an a, a bloody axe in my bed, and the door was open, and my dogs were not there. And literally, I sat up looked around and wondering what the fuck happened that's all i know from that and nothing like that has happened since <sighs> okay anyways 
If you don't believe me, don't believe me, but this really did happen. I am t telling you, this actually happened. And I don't know if it was just because I was in a state of fear, because I used to be really paranoid. And I'll tell another story about Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. I hope I don't get copyrighted for that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my cringy, cringy video, and that you like it, and subscribe, and comment, to tell me what the fuck was happening to me, and, uh, well, bye.